Welcome to Through the Wire. Through the Wire. As you can see, it's just three of us instead of four. Our boy D Mills was not able to make it. He'll be fine. He should be back for the next episode. But we got a lot to talk about, y'all. How y'all doing? Mm, I'm doing bad. You doing bad? One of the best team, the best team in history, just saying the best team in the league. You know, it's crazy that you say you're feeling bad because your team just just um, signed the, the best, best player of the generation, I and know. you feel bad. I wanted him on my team. Talking Boogie. Yeah. I'm not feeling bad no more. Boogie, my phone blew up last night. Just mm-hmm. to let y'all know, because Boogie is one of my one of, a guy that I really like a lot. You know what I mean? Um, and I was hurt at the beginning of this. And when I first see that on my phone from Woj, I was hurt. I was like, this is different than Kevin Durant yeah. because I actually like Boogie. Kevin Durant good. I like him too, but I like I like like Boogie. But then I woke up at like seven in the morning and I seen a tweet that said, nobody else offered Boogie a contract. Yeah. So you know what I yeah. said? I'm not mad no more, Boogie. Thank you. But the crazy thing is last night when I was texting a couple of my homies, Darnie, Darnie was like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Of course, calling DeMarcus Cousins or what he was calling, what everybody was calling him. But I was like, bro, you know DeMarcus is very emotional. Mm-hmm. He had an attitude because nobody. I thought nobody yeah. gave him big money. Yeah, let he alone, said he had no offer. Not, not no offer. I didn't. That that's that's facts. Yeah, yeah. He said yeah, he said he, he said had no that. other qualifying offers. Something like that. Zero. Yeah. This many offers. That's crazy. And it, what, that was day two or three. Yeah, we were, day two were three or days into it. Zero. You know what I thought? You know, I didn't. I haven't been on Twitter since the signing. I haven't watched any videos or whatever. Um, I just thought nobody gave him max money. Like, That's what I thought. And like, yeah, look, that, yeah. LA was like, because they they had an interview, right? He was he talked they to the people in LA. To. That's what I thought. But yeah, Mark Spears said he had an actual phone call with an emotional uh, De- Demarcus Cousins, right? And he had zero offers. So you're saying that the re- it's everybody else's fault? They could have the, prevented this. It's the NBA, you could have prevented this. Adam so, Silver could have prevented this. I, he could have too. Yeah, but I, I'm glad he did. Don't prevent it. Let these teams learn. Stop trying to lowball and blackball people. No, you know that's that. crazy. They got zero offers. Because yeah. if I'm a GM, I'm probably not giving him a max contract. Yeah, because it's that, 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 that Achilles that is scary. Sense. Yeah, I, I believe in his mind. He was expecting not to get the max offer. Mm-hmm. He was just not expecting to get zero offers in days into. So you saying when I when and I'm looking at I got a list right here on my iPad full of all of these signings. Doug McDermott got a contract. Joe Harris, <laughs> Doug McDermott, Ursine <laughs> Sober. Oh my God. Ed Davis and the buggy got so, zero offers. That is that's I'm crazy. Bad, that just, changes the circumstance. I'm feeling bad though for my thing because we just got KCP back. Right. At 12 million. Y'all could have just threw that at we, Boogie. The Knicks signed Mario Hazonia for six million. Boogie is getting five point three. Anthony Tolliver. Shout out to Anthony Tolliver, man. Five million. He making the same amount as Anthony. I mean, but Boogie. Jesus. I haven't even seen him on the court in a while. He was with the Pistons last year. He actually played. That's why I didn't see him on the court. I never <laughs> watched no Pistons. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, when it first happened, I was like, wow, a guy that I really like just did one of the most, you know, lowest moves ever. But then when I found, I can't be mad at him for, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at him. I'm mad at just the situation, man. Yeah. That like look, look, the regular season is going to be fun. It always is. No matter if there's one super team in the league, the regular season still be fun because we got the Knicks get something to look forward to, the Bulls something to look forward to, the Lakers something to look forward to. But when we get to the playoffs, we you know, we got it like Charles Barkley said it best. We got to fake like we don't know what's going to happen even though we do. And oh, y'all, do y'all remember a couple weeks what I told y'all, right? Which about which part? Boogie. What happened? All of this December January talk, he is trying to make Oh yeah, he is trying. Yeah. And Which, then they confirmed it yesterday again because they thought because he's going to the Warriors, oh, now he can really just sit back. Yeah, I was going to say, they don't I think his that, intentions with the Warriors are still to be there at camp. That's cr- I, I wouldn't even want to do that. I think he should just just, just chill out. Yeah, they don't, they don't need, the, they they don't don't need, need him for the first half of the season. They, and, and who knew he was? Who, who knew he had an HBO show? I didn't. They, <laughs> they, they previewed the, he has a, it's called uh, the, the Resurgence, right. The Decision. Yeah, okay. I didn't know it was an HBO show, but they released a clip of him. Doing I saw this. that. Yeah, when no. he found out he was going to the Warriors. Which so is, he has a show right. I didn't know about. Do you think And I just got a notification, I gotta make sure the same world. Yeah, because what happened was <laughs> I seen I think I seen somebody retweet 
that his agent had said like boogie bomb or something like that mm -hmm. and then i don't know my my twitter doesn't give me notifications but i got a notification in the discord shout out to the discord if you join a patreon you get right up in there and get all the news facts mm -hmm. but they said that boogie went to the words i'm like what i couldn't believe it you know it's crazy how it happened here it. so me and my girlfriend putting up the last two pieces of the set y'all ain't even mentioned it or notice it maybe. I, I don't I didn't okay know. I definitely know so we're putting the last two pieces of the set together and my girlfriend was like it's free agency like almost over and I was like for the most part it kind of is right we got most of the people signed it's a couple few guys that could turn some heads but it's almost over besides Boogie is what I said and she was like is Boogie the one that had the injury you know she was she watched the game with me when Boogie got injured I was like yeah and then maybe three minutes later that's when we got the notification from Woj and I didn't know I didn't think it was real I made That's sure it was like the Woj, and it was. See, I got Woj. I don't do the whole notification on Twitter, but I turned them on for Woj, and mm -hmm. it came right to my phone while I was watching Summer League, and I instantly jumped on there and made my tweets and went on and went on and went on. And I just tweeted one thing, and that was uh, NBA over, at least for a season, because he will, nine times out of ten, I say he's not a warrior next year. Because no. he's gonna make money. They yeah, don't. That's what I'm say the, the bad. The people what people don't always look at is it was a one year deal for five mil. They have five all stars. All of them need to get paid. Mm -hmm. Clay but, Thompson is about to be a free agent. Unless if he makes the All NBA team, two hundred million. Draymond makes the All NBA team eligible for two hundred million. Steph Curry mm -hmm. just got two hundred. Am I right? Right. Uh, Durant just did the little two year sixty four million. Yeah. You can't pay everybody. They can't do it. I, I don't think Boogie will ever be a warrior after the season. Yeah. Unless, what you was about to say, I'll let you say it. Unless they're like, you know what? We He's more valuable. Than Clay Thompson. Yeah. And I doubt, I doubt they're going to get to that point. But like, he'll, he'll come in. You know how quick it was for Kevin Durant to win his ring yep. first year? He'll, he's going to win a ring. And I think part, part of this is our fault. It's not, not like us three, mm -hmm. but it's like the NBA media fault because the narrative for DeMarcus Cousins has always been he's good, but he can't win, right? Winning is important, but at the end of the day, it takes more than a singular player to win a basketball game, to win a championship, to win a playoff game. And I think that, that that's how people have been looking at Boogie since he came into the league. And I mean, Boogie, Boogie know. Boogie know that that's what people saying about him. Mm -hmm. He's like, I just I'll win on the ultimate stage. Just win a quick ring, and then you know you can't even say that about me no more. I, I I loved this move for him, or just like for, for, him. The, for okay. I, I yeah. love it. I, th I think it's. I think he gonna thrive. The, I think it's the best move. Well, yeah, he, it's he, hard not to. Yeah, yeah but it's just made. Javale well, McGee thrived. I, I yeah. don't know who advised this move. Well, I, Draymond Green called him, of course. But <laughs> best recruit in the NBA. First of all, he's saying. If I got to take a pay cut, I'm going to get rewarded for this pay cut. Yeah, right. I'm going to get the ultimate reward. Which is smart. And number two, he also saying, oh, y'all didn't want to give me, nobody wanted to talk to me. I'm a problem in the locker room. Y'all scared to give me money. Well, I'm going to make y'all regret that because now I'm going to make this team even better. So, ha ha, jokes on y'all. And, you know what I mean? He's about to win a ring, get a chance to play good. There's nothing wrong he's going to be able to do. This, what the Warriors, he's going to look perfect. He's not going to, he, there's nothing he can do in that locker room. Um, all of his weaknesses will be covered up. He's going to look like golden money unless his, that injury is really just the craziest injury and it's just holding him back. But mm -hmm. he's going to be a double-double machine, bunch of dunks, and then he's going to get his money back on the market and we won't never see him in a Warrior uniform again. They're okay with that. The Warriors will take this one year just to have a three-peat. Facts. Because they, they, they were the favorites without him. Yeah, they got nothing to lose in this situation. So they just going to yeah. get a quick ring off of him. They going to use him and they going to use each other. And then they going to part ways. You, but me, mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if Klay Thompson get that boot. If Boogie is dominant with them, mm -hmm. Klay Thompson is the guy. I, I love Klay. He's mm -hmm. my favorite on the Warriors. Not no more because DeMarcus is my favorite on the Warriors. But he's the one guy that they could be replaced. Mm -hmm. You can't replace Boogie. You can't replace 20, 24 points, 12 rebounds, 5 assists. Dribble, shoot threes, post up. Julius Randle got to try to do exactly that this season. And that, that, was, a, that, that was a terrible sign. Oh, we'll talk. We're going to talk about most of the big time signings. Because a lot has happened. I'm sure we're not going to really talk about Joe Harris and Doug McDermott really like that. No, nah, he um, don't need Okay. Them shots out. You can just shout it out. That's all they yeah, did. They did. They got some money. <laughs> they got money. Yeah, they got some money. Got That's paid. Do you think. This is ruining competition for the 2018-2019 season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
like I don't know, man. I think it, the, it just, I, the way I look at it, maybe like five, ten years down the road, I don't know how many championships they, the Warriors going to win during this stretch. But it just feels it's not going to feel the same as like the big moments with the Lakers. You don't think so? Not with fast, um, basically fast superstars. I like this because anybody who knocks that team off is the greatest. Thing. They have to yeah. lose. Mm-hmm. They will lose. They have. They might not lose this year, but eventually they will lose. And when they do lose, it's gonna be big. Now imagine this team right here going to the finals, and Brad Stevens and the Celtics beat this team this year, next year. Imagine the story we gonna have if that happened. That's what I'm saying. If they if they if they come up anything short of a championship this year, now that that can hurt Boogie. Imagine that narrative. Yeah, <laughs> imagine, they don't imagine, win a championship. Imagine that narrative. That would be absolutely ridiculous. I, I do think the NBA needs juggernauts, but like this is just this this is the most stacked team we've ever mm-hmm. ever seen in the history of this game. I, I love it because the history lose, of this game. Because like, before this year. If they lose, man. The Houston Rockets proved that that Warriors team is great, but they're not invincible. Yeah. Right? Took them to game seven. If Chris Paul is healthy, who knows? You know, Mm -hmm. they're in the championship. So this offseason, we think, like, man, Bron is a free agent. Paul George, Kawhi won out. Some team is about to put together the pieces to take down the Golden State Warriors. And the Golden State gets better. Golden State gets better. Somehow, not even just a little bit better. I mean, because if they got Dwight Howard, which is possible, which was possible, they got a little bit better. That would have been like. But now. They got the best center in the league. Yes. Now it's like they have the best point yeah. guard in the league, yeah, the best center it. in the league, the the second best small forward the best, in the league, the, the greatest league. spot up shooter the in the league. What you call Draymond? I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, about about yeah I was just gonna I say a good, def- a great defender. I thought you said the greatest power forward. Nah, 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 he's nah. A top, nah. He's, a top, he's probably top number two, or three. Yeah, yeah. Power it's Anthony Davis. Not even close. Not even close. So y'all would take Draymond over Blake Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, I probably would too. Oh, okay. I had this debate on the video once, and I, I, I didn't even know if I. I don't think I answered it because I, I was so wishy washy in my head. Like, Blake Griffin is a better offensive player, right? As far as putting the ball in the basket, mm-hmm. but Draymond got him beat on every other aspect. So, do I want to go to score or do I want that that glue guy that that can but elevate Blake a team? Griffin can play make too. He can, but I, not nearly as good as Dray. But he's never had a Warrior team around. Right. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't like that arc. I don't like that <laughs> argument. I mean, it, it, yeah, you're right, but it still, like, way. yeah. But that's it, man. Boogie is a warrior now, and we're just going to have to sit back and wait and see how it goes. Will he be ready for training camp, or will he just – because if I'm the team doctors and stuff, I'm just like, Boog, listen, Damon Jones is going to be fine right now. This is crazy. This is crazy. LeBron James is our second story. Yeah, that's that's the crazy part. We got one more thing to add. If you play with the Warriors in 2K19, it's no respect. No, because no, no I don't play with him. No I, respect. I play with Boogie. Mm-mm. I can't play with Boogie. I like Boogie. Send him back to another team, then yeah. play with him. You know, I'm, I was just joking, but you know how many guys I play against for money and they go get your the brother Warriors? will be playing with the Warriors. Oh, yeah. Like <laughs> and, he, and he's a LeBron fan. Yeah, he, yeah. You're talking about Bub? Yeah. Bub is going to oh, play yeah. with the Warriors. Especially if money on the line, he's going to play with the Warriors. You know what's so funny? If it's against me, he's still gonna lose. Mm. It's just a fact. Mm. Mm. A lot of, I don't know. This is just like a 2K created team, basically. They still got Iggy. They still got Shaw Livingston. So now when he do his videos, rebuilds, there's no more realistic rebuild because anything <laughs> can happen. Though. Anything can happen. A, a superstar just signed for a mid-level exception deal. 5.6, 5.2 no more realistic order. rebuilds because anything is possible. But yeah, LeBron James. That's the second story years, of the day. 154 million with the Los Angeles Lakers. The best player of our generation switched teams, and it wasn't even the headliner of this show. Of the offseason. Of the off, yeah, of the offseason, really. All right, Laker fan, let me let me hear your what you think about this. Not only this, because they haven't just done that. They, they they've done about plenty of other stuff this offseason. So let me let me hear what you thinking as a fan. Are you ex- of course? Okay, I'm let gonna write down a list for you before all your team. Yeah. LeBron James, four years, 154 million. Right. Um, KCP one year twelve million. Mm-hmm. JaVale McGee one year two point four million. Lance Stevenson one year four point five million. And uh, Rajon Rondo one year nine million. Y'all got a brick. Let me hear what you say. All I got to say, LeBron here for the long call. You can tell by the contract. Did you notice everybody else had the one year's deal? Of course. Mm-hmm. That's because we know next year we finna pick up another superstar, and that's when we gonna start molding this team. We already know probably winning the championship this year, but I don't know. I think I, it, I think what what killed me is I was talking to him is like we had, we're really guard heavy now because I I really hope they were thinking about developing Josh Hart, but now they're kind of replace they're taking a lot uh, away a lot of his minutes. 
Josh Hart had a good summer league hey, game. Yeah, he looked like a veteran. Yeah, he, he looked, looked like a veteran last night. Um, I was seeing a lot of people very um, opinionated about this Rajon Rondo move. Right. It's yeah. a great move. It's a I, great, I it's thought a great it was. Move. O- I thought it was okay because he was going to be able to be that leader. For, or not be a leader, but mentor. Help, yeah, yeah, mentor yeah. For no, I think I think leader. It's many layers with that because yeah. he's going to mentor Lonzo. Mm-hmm. Lonzo ha- has the potential to be a very great point guard, but he's in that mode of the kid Magic Rondo where they're not shooting score. They like you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're not they're, first. They're, 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 they're basically the first. traditional point guards. Yes, in the league, but not they don't have the, a jump shot, mm-hmm. consistent jump shot. Um, so. He's going to mentor him with that. Mm-hmm. And then um, also, we know that this team is going to the playoffs. Yeah. Their number one thing is youth, experience. We see what Rondo can do in the playoffs, not only with the Pelicans, but the year before that with the Bulls. So you get that. So if Lonzo gets to the playoffs and he's shaky and the experience becomes a factor, you now have a reliable guy behind him mm-hmm. who you know can provide something. Yep. You know what I mean? So has, I, has Rondo only missed the playoffs one time in his career? And it was like his last year in Boston? He made he made the playoffs one of those years with Boston without the victory. Rondo's a, a player, man. Mm-hmm. He definitely a player. And it, I feel like he was this close to kind of being out of the league because of the whole thing the with, with the Mavericks. Yeah. And I'm so glad he revived everything. And I mean, yes, it's a one-year deal, but there were other offers from him. Apparently, he's, the, going into this, he's going into this trying to be a starting point guard. He, he should be. Yeah, he, be, he should be trying that to. That just tells you his mindset. Who on this squad, when you look at their lineup, where's the shooting? Kyle Kuzma. But who else? Mo can you shoot. Got a whole- Every, everybody, they're not great shooters, but they'll keep the defense honest. Randy Ingram could hit a three. Mo could hit a three. But you know why he's saying You that? think Mo go get big minutes? I mean, he, I mean, he, he had he, a phenomenal summer league season. game he, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, you I know mean, why he's he, saying that? It's because... The last year's Cavaliers were just like that. Jeff Green is a reliable shooter, but he's not a knockdown shooter. Yeah, you know, J.R. Smith is hey, a reliable shooter. I'll tell you shooter. one thing that we got that the Cavs didn't have. We got we could play some D. Bet, yeah, I mean, better than the Cavs. Yeah, but I think we've been playing. Last year was one of our better defensive years over the last few years. We've been probably like. Uh, I was just talking to shooters. To the top, top half. This yeah. Lakers team is ten times better than the Cavalier team to me. Brandon, yeah. who on the Cavaliers? Bes- yeah. you know, I Kevin feel, Love. I are- feel disrespected as a Lakers fan when I believe it was a uh, Terrence Ross who said he basically just went to the Cavs to the Cavs of the West. Yeah, that, that's idiotic. What team does he play for? The Orlando Magic. So yeah, that, uh, that was he, real idiotic. He who, got he got paid though. They probably. We talked about is that time was going in there on the show, right? Yeah, I think we we he we just followed them on Twitter just to let y'all know. I, that's perfect. That's perfect for them, by the way. Uh, but yeah, Mo Wagner. I mean, I don't know how many. It's a V. Yeah. I, yeah, you, huh? you, you, y'all watch, it's a V. Mo Wagner. Yeah. Mo Wagner. Did y'all watch? Y'all you watch the league? Wagner. Yeah, it's spelled Wagner. Mm-hmm. I, w- I watched parts of the sum- that summer league game. I watched the first summer league game completely. No, with the Trey. Yeah, the I was Atlanta invested in Trey Young and, yeah, oh, yeah. and Trey J. Oh, come on, you know I watched that. Trey J go crazy. I, I, I like the name. I didn't come up with it. Somebody in my, uh, I was streaming, somebody called him Trey J, and I just stole it. I mean, I guess. The, the guys, are, he, he played, I mean, it's the first summer league game, but he, I'm going to just say this about him. He was at the right place at the right time. You know, I don't. When I'm watching summer league games, especially the first game of these players' career, I'm not looking at stats, right? Like when Trey Young started off 0 for nine, I'm not panicking like some people probably were. I'm looking at like, was he's at? Was he at the right place? He had a lot of turnovers, which is understanding. He drew a lot of fouls, you know, and that's that's promising for a young player. But I think we're getting off track. <clears throat> yeah, because we we gonna get to summer league. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, the Lakers. Are, cool. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm happy. I'm I'm excited for this year. All I, I don't know, man. Are you excited for the one-year step back? Because that's kind of what this is going on. They're not going to win a championship this year. Okay. So are you okay with them not trading for Kawhi, but just believing that they can sign them next offseason? I am okay with that. You should be, because the best thing that will come out of this, you, you might not win a championship. You probably won't. Lonzo Ball is going to get his experience. Brandon Ingram will get his experience. Kyle Kuzma will get his experience. And that, don't, those are the guys. Don't forget. Josh Hart will get LeBron, his experience. We are going to see a better LeBron this year. You think so? Do you remember what LeVar said? Lonzo will I don't, elevate I, I LeBron I don't listen James. to LeVar. You better start. LeVar, LeVar, LeVar said Lonzo LeBron Ball was going to Lonzo. elevate. Levar said LeBron, LeBron was going to sure, elevate. Sure, sure. LeBron, I mean, Lonzo, I mean, LeVar has said a lot of things that has come true. Yes. But he also said he can be Jordan. So. He can probably right now. 
I'm just talking. Yeah, okay. Because even at 50, yeah. Jordan still got it, bro. My main thing is the Jello thing. He said Jello was going to the Lakers. Yeah. yeah. They missing peace. That's it. You think so? <laughs> he can shoot the ball. Can he? Because we saw him at the side of the backboard <laughs> that one clip. I, I, I don't know if he can really shoot the ball. Um, but, okay, here, what if... Paul George, you know how Paul George, everybody's like, he's going to Lakers, he's going to Lakers for two seasons now. And he decided to stay in OKC. Mm. What if you get a similar situation with Kawhi? Well, you could have traded for him, but throughout this one season, somehow he, him and Pop and them get their relationship together. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to take my Supermax. Yeah. Kawhi, Kawhi is not the only superstar we're interested in. But shouldn't he be, is he number one? He, he should a, be number he's one. He's a top recoup, but we can't. Control what's out of our hands at this point. Even if we do offer them the best shade we can, they don't take it. Then I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's, it's out of our hands. Lonzo we have to go. Ball, Rajon Rondo, Caldwell Pope, Josh Hart, Lance Stevenson. Ooh, you think Josh Hart will get minutes over Lance? No, I had just forgot about Lance in that point five okay. seconds. <laughs> LeBron James. I mean, uh, Brandon Ingram. Brandon yeah, Ingram. Yeah. Luol Dang. Shout out to Lou. LeBron James. Get the bag. Kyle Kuzma. JaVale McGee. <laughs> JaVale Brian McGee's now. starting again, bro. Like, like not, he's not oh, even just and, starting. And Zubak. It would be a third mm. center. He's not even just starting, but he's that like, team, he's their best center. That team decent. You got, you know, Rondo and Kuzma off the bench with Josh Hartland, Steve. So who falls out of the playoffs? That was my, the Trailblazers. You think so? I know they have to. They have, maybe the Pelicans. Could be the Pelicans. I, I, Elver Payton and Julius Randle. I'm not digging it. I, I'm not. You got two knockoff of what you lost. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> that 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 definitely I'm, is a, I'm a cool. perfect. Yeah, a I'm younger cool. knockoff version of what I'm they okay had. On that man, I'm okay. On but that. Elver Payton did cut his hair, so that means a little something. He's gonna be ready, and he's not Listen gonna be off balance no more. one thing you need around Anthony shooting. Davis. Elfer Payton don't give you that. No. You, that was okay when you had Rondo because the things Rondo was doing. Yeah, but you know, Payton, Elfer Payton not about to do what Rondo was doing. Julius Randle can't shoot like Boogie. I, I feel bad for AD again. I don't because he pushed them to go get uh, Julius Randle. He facilitated that. And Julius Randle asked the Lakers to... Um, Let go of him. Yes. And get rid of their rights. So Which, he be able to go and sign this what, what you think happened between them that he don't want to be there? Who? Julius Randle. What what made you? What, too, what do you think? Um, too, too optimistic. They, they, they he didn't know. It was, he, so what he I, what I feel like he didn't want to happen is while I'm waiting on the Lakers, I'm gonna miss out on all this other stuff that's going mm-hmm. on because me not taking this Pelicans move that gives them time to go get DeMarcus Cousins, which then could X me out. And now I'm waiting to hear. And then the Mavericks already got DeAndre yeah. Jordan. So I, all I of my think options. It was in the team's best interest for this to happen. Do we like I? Me and KB talked about it yesterday. He's a good, he's, he's a really a good, good player. yeah, he's a good player for Walking sure. Walking double double, but I think this just gives the the Lakers the opportunity for them to develop Brandon Ingram. Because if Brandon, if Julius Randle's still on the team, I get, I'm pretty sure he's still starting. Oh, for who? They probably put him at center. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. What, what that got to do with Brandon Ingram though? I think that it just takes away because Julius Randle gonna get his touch. Julius Randle is gonna be positive. He's not getting touches over Brandon Ingram. No, I don't know. But either way it goes, I think I'm happy with that move. I think it was the right move. I mean, as a, for the Lakers, for the Lakers, it was the right move. I think Julius Randle should have signed a one-year deal, two years for eighteen million. It's crazy. There's gonna be a it's, lot of money next year. Not making the same it's, amount it's as Rondo. It's even crazier that they the Pelicans didn't even offer a boogie one. Yeah, he yeah. was more. He, that was what that was a team the he wanted. It, that it seemed like it was one of the better options. That's what made him too. emotional. Mm-hmm. Because they, out of all people, they're AD, from, from, their play, their 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 franchise player came and said, "I love playing with this guy." I, you know, he wants to bring him. That's like his brother. Mm-hmm. They didn't even offer him a, a the the they, the they, they went out and offered Julius. They offered Julius Randle. Well, AD said it, but they went out and offered Julius Randle a deal before Boogie Celtics were to run up for Boogie Cousins. I would have liked to see that. I would have liked that too, man. We looking but, at Kyrie, Tatum, Hayward, Horford, Boogie. Off your bench, you got Jalen Brown. I think that team will be enough to to <sighs> make some noise. Jaylen make some Brown, noise against Terry the Warriors. Rozier? Oh my gosh! But oh uh, my gosh, the Julius Randle signing is not. I don't think it's that bad. Are you serious? I, I feel bad for the Pelicans again. Are they serious? What do you think they? they Kyrie Irving. <laughs> it could have been Tatum, Hayward, but, Horford, Cousins. If you cousins are like, do you want, do I want the guarantee ring or do I want to not get the guarantee ring? 
Oh my god. That could have been great. So what you were just saying, my bad. I'm, my the, mind. With the with the Pelicans, I don't think the Julius Randle thing is terrible because I mean, yeah, he does need shooting around at Anthony Davis and all. But like Mike said, like we we were talking about, it, he's a he is a ball player. Does he start for that team? He doesn't. He can't start. Anthony Davis is a center in this league. Like he's gonna have to play center next year. Him? I to be honest, I would have Nico off the bench. I feel like he's more of a spark than Julius. Yeah, they're both sparks, but I think Nico would be that dude that come off the bench and hit those shots for them. But maybe they do it. Like we'd rather have the shooting in the lineup. So you have to. You I, have I, to. I, it complements him too much. So you got Davis, Nico. Etwan Moore started that hey, small four small last four. year at six four. That small four. Etwan, Drew Holiday, oh and uh, Alfred Payton, and then the bench. They all the same size. They all the same size. They got they run three guards, three guards and two power it's fours. Just, it's not. It's not. I'm looking at this list of people who signed, and this is not small forwards. Tyreek Evans still out there, but he's meeting with you know Indy right now. You said there's no small forwards. That's because the, the top the guys was small hey, forwards. LeBron. Paul whenever George. you play two, can you look for a small forward? Ain't it real hard to find a nice? Oh forward? yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's not that many great small, yeah. small Shabba, forwards. That's because it's Shabba like Ariza would have fit that great. There's what like four elite small forwards, and then after that, there's a huge drop off. Yeah, the Suns have them all. Nah, I forgot. The Suns have them all. All of them. Um, what's it? What's the next big side? And after LBJ and Paul Boogie, George. Paul George stays. Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't. I didn't like after that. After the OKC loss. I came on this show and I told everybody, listen, I know it's Lakers, 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 but there's no way in hell he's leaving on a two for 16 performance. That, you, you can go back and find it. I just didn't believe that he could leave on a two for 16. I don't think he can leave Russ like that. And all of the, the narrative that Russ is hard to play with, nobody can play with it, nobody likes him, we're going to take that and we're going to throw it as far as we can out of the window because now that is not true. That's not true. Harden didn't leave. He, they traded him ironically to save fourteen million, and now they're paying eighty million. Mm-hmm. You should have paid fourteen million. Ibaka was traded to get Victor Oladipo as a third option for Durant and Russell, but they didn't know that KD was going to leave. KD is the only player that ever left Russ, and I, KD left because he's not a leader. He doesn't want to be a leader. So the whole time, OKC was building this team thinking that Kevin Durant is the guy that's going to lead us to the promised land. And in the back of his mind the whole time, that's not what he wanted to be. That's not the role he wanted. So he went to a team. Everything makes sense now. Why he didn't go to the Boston Celtics early in a process. Why he didn't go back home to D.C. to help lead them. Because he didn't. He don't want to be a leader. He wants to be behind a Steph Curry type of guy where he, his ass could be saved by three other people. When he doesn't perform, just like that playoff game where Steph Curry went one for ten and KD was kind of all right, who came and saved the day? Klay Thompson. That team is too multi-layered for them to ever have any blame. And now you got Demarcus Cousins. So now if Kevin Durant has a game where he goes one for ten, like they still won't lose. <laughs> I don't like this with PG man. Why not? This is the most infuriating team to watch because they have talent. But they will go six possessions without doing anything. And it's mind-blowing to me that you can have an elite point guard, an elite small four, and I would even say an elite center, right? Steven Adams is one of the top six centers and stuff. Right below a center, uh, all-star. He's right there. Right, right. So I would say three elite players and not do anything. Mm-hmm. That's, it, what this, that's what this second opportunity is for, to fix that. I like it, man. I like it. Him and Rush complement each other. They play good together. You just got to hope that, you know, mm-hmm. the other pieces. Let, let, Nerds, yeah. Noel is a good I pray, I pray that Carmelo is okay with coming off the bench this year. They need bench scoring. And in that case, when he's coming off the bench, he's the number one guy off the bench. Let, let them start Jeremy Grant at the four. And Melo, just be the number one off- option off the bench. Swallow the pride for the team's sake. Yeah, bro. look the way Pierre looking. What you got to say over there? I get what he's saying. Yeah, but... But he went from he went from the first option but it, to the it, number three. Option. He will be the that, first option off the bench. Mm-hmm. But the, the thing about that is, it takes away from the starting lineup because Jeremy Grant does not fit that starting lineup. You don't think because so? You are not, because who's your starting shooting guard? Roberson. It's still it's still Andre Roberson. And now you putting Grant too? Where is it? Like what? Grant is a he's not all right player about maybe a, a. I'm talking a, about a, as far as spacing, sh- right? Because you got to space the floor for Russell Westbrook. So but, I mean, if you go out, you know who I want them to go get? Go get uh, Belalitsa from the Timberwolves. They released his rights. They renounced his rights. He's a free agent. Go get him. 
Now, if you start him and and Melo, Nerlens Noel, and Jeremy Grant come off the bench, then talk to me. I'm okay. on, I'm not saying I'm not saying okay. Melo should be a certified starter. I'm just saying if he's going to start. If he's not going to start, put a floor spacer in. Don't devalue the starting lineup because Roberson and Grant on the same floor at the same time. Roberson hitting shots in the offseason. And you know you know Adams. I'm fine with him starting because he can cut real good. He's going to defend. I know he don't shoot. Oh, well, just take the shot when you open. But he's a real good player. I like Roberson. But you can't have Roberson and Grant. Start and then your, and, and then and Adams. Adams, yeah. That I mean, because your because your main guy can, is man. Love attacking the and rim. now and then you're gonna get mad at Russ for shooting eight threes a game. <laughs> we can't get to the hole because Grant, Robinson, and Adams are all clogging it up. I would prefer that. That's just me personally, man. Because think about their bench from last season; it was non-existent. They had no bench scoring whatsoever. Their best play off the bench is Raymond Felton. Raymond Felton, who's three forty. Didn't even really need a bench because the way that he did his everybody his needs a bench. The way he did his rotation, of course. But that means you can't have if you don't have a bench. What are you going to do? The way he did his rotation. That's the one good thing I can give Billy Donovan his rotation. The only for not maybe, having a the bench. only thing positively about Billy yeah, Donovan. The only thing is that Bill- he always kept one of them on the floor because well, I mean he had no damn choice. But you know, I I, I got to give him some credit. I, I I really dislike Billy Donovan as a coach. No, I, I ain't know much His about coaching him is non-existent. Almost. It really is. I mean, in Florida, From he was that fine. One year, because don't forget, Billy Donovan did have them up three one on the Warriors at one point in time. So he 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 had some. Was coaches. that Billy? Yeah, that was Billy Donovan. That was. I thought Scott that was Brooks. Scott. Brooks. I thought that was the last year of Scott Brooks. No, that was Billy Donovan. Kevin Durant played a year with Billy Donovan. He, I okay. Dwayne Casey and the Raptors changed their offensive scheme in one season. So he can do this. He can do I'm it. I'm hoping he does. I, I, feel, pray I feel he like does. The way he watched, like if you actually watch that team, I feel like he should have done that halfway through the season. He should have been able to recognize that. He should have, but you know, he, this team is too good for them to be just running that, isolation that is easy to at the Because we can say the same thing about Dwayne Casey. We can say that the, the moves and adjustments Dwayne Casey made, he could have made three years ago. Yeah, you're right. He could have. So I mean, it, it's hard to do. And you know, Melo in his exit interview took a lot of that pressure off of Billy Donovan by saying, "Hey, look, it ain't easy. I came last minute. They already had their team complete and was ready to go, and yeah. I came out of nowhere. They didn't expect me to be here, you know, this soon." He, Melo literally walked in. And it was training camp. Mm-hmm. And so he said, whatever scheme that Billy Donovan had, it didn't involve me. So now he had to take that, crumble it up, throw it in the garbage, and now try to add me in. Bro, bro ain't had no scheme, man. <laughs> I mean, here you yeah. go, Russell. Dribble. I see what you mean, but I was, it's just like you, Russ would just come down the floor. And he he's a PG that you just have to let freelance and let him play. Do you, but, they but, but, have, you, but they don't have no offensive scheme. Everybody just stands there. They, they didn't have an offensive scheme. They had a real good horn set. That they, they, ran they, once weren't running in, they weren't running in enough. They, yeah. Why they went, went away from in the playoffs, beats the hell out of me. But, you know, uh, we, we going to see. We I see. feel like Russell Westbrook, we, I, he's already an elite player. But if he had, like, like actual scheme, I mean, I'm sure they have schemes. If but, like, if, if they played, scheme? yeah, if they, if they did the scheme as often, if they ran plays, he would be so much better. Because mm-hmm. he'll be a little bit more controlled. He will be. Russell Westbrook is a championship player. I, I want. I believe so. He got to prove it to me. Kobe Bryant is a championship player. Russell Westbrook is a championship player. He got to prove it to me. He definitely got to prove it to me. And and right now, this team that they have right now is not good enough to compete for a championship. Especially not next. Year. Nobody is right, next I was year. About to say, who Nobody who is really next is. year. But I think when they get that mellow contract off the books. And then they have a little bit of money to go get somebody else next offseason. I don't know how much money will be. Maybe they don't actually what? have enough money to sign a free agent next season. But either way, if they do have the money, I think that's the moment where they can become legit contenders. But right now with this roster, I'm I not. I'm it, not I buying. Wish, it. I really wish it was a way they could trade Melo for Kevin Love. I wish it was a way to trade Melo for anything. Nah, I wouldn't. Not I for wouldn't 28 that. million. I mean, to get that contract yeah, off the books. No, I but I can't say anything. I, you gotta. You gotta. Are we trying. They trying to win. He ain't worth 28 mil. <laughs> No, nah, but you, I mean, you saying trade him for anything. I'm not trading for anything because regardless, if you trade him, you still ain't got money. Ain't like you can go get somebody. Like, what are you going to do? He's going to be gone next year. So, I mean, I wouldn't trade him for anything. We going to. I don't know if there's a. Con- who who has the worst contract in the league right now? It's, pro- it's probably Melo. going to take, like, who would take that? Nobody will. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm just saying that it would be cool, but I, nobody's taking mm-hmm. a Melo contract. Zero percent. Unless you throw in three first rounders. Yeah, yeah. And like, nah, th- there's nah, no nah, way. And even then, you don't do that because the no, first not, rounders don't really even right. <laughs> amount to shit. I think he, yeah, I mean, 
He getting his bag. I, I ain't gonna fault him for getting the bag because I would have done the same thing. I would have got my money. The funny thing is to me is that it's just been one season. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be so hilarious and funny to me if Melo turns it around and becomes a twenty-two point scorer again. It's gonna be so hilarious. It's gonna be so funny. The way I think about it is that. how oft- how so often funny. does that happen? What that a player has a bad season because can we agree that that was a bad season Melo had mm-hmm. and turns it back up. Not not just to have a good season, because I believe he can have a good season. But John Rondo but, just did it. But I'm saying great. Rondo Rondo went from great to I mean, good. Victor, being a twenty point score. Be, be, being a twenty point score. But Victor Depot's never great. Being I'm a, saying go from great good back to great. You said being a twenty season. being a twenty point score ain't great. They don't need Melo to be great. They just, I'm just saying back to twenty point scoring. Melo Melo ain't been great in a long time. His last few years with the Knicks weren't great, but they were good. He was an all star. That's all they need. He he was never gonna be on this team and be great because they have two other guys that are great. It's hard to be great as a third option. I would argue that Chris Bosh was great as a third option. No, nah, I don't think he was great. Really? I think he was good. He wasn't great. Great? Nah. I think he was great. No, nah, Clay Thompson is great. Clay Thompson is great because when the other two ain't there. Clay Thompson come and save the day. Chris but Bosch Chris Bosh did that, that multiple nah, nah. times. When? What games did he have when he came and saved the day? I, I can't give you like specific. You can't because LeBron never. Yeah, I was gonna say I was. I, and when I was LeBron like, I remember, disappeared, they I lost the series. I was like, lost. I don't never remember when LeBron was having that downfall. Chris Bosh was Chris real Bosch solid, it up. But like, this yeah. Chris Bosh, I think Chris Bosh was great in his time, and that, that's why I say he's a like bona fide Hall of Famer. It's not not just because he won rings; it's just because he was great doing he getting those good. rings. He, and he fit, and he complimented them well. But a great third piece, I don't think he was. He he underperformed. I don't think he did. I don't think he underperformed. I'm talking about Chris Bosh mm-hmm. and Chris Bosh with the Heat are two different people. Right. But but you can still be like like you, you just said with Melo. Like that's not exactly. They're not they don't need him to be great. They didn't need Bosch to be great. So But Bosch I still thought he great. I think he was still great though. At what though? At playing his role. Oh yeah, but his his, his role, role wasn't, wasn't to be, be great. great. His role wasn't to be great. You're saying okay, we saying we saying the same thing in two different things. You're saying he was great in his role. Yes, he was great in his role. But was he a great player? No, he was a good player. You're not saying he was I, a I think, great. I think good is an understatement. He was definitely above good. What Great is above good. Right. You say he was good. I'm saying he was above good. Okay. So he, he was slightly above average. No. Come, not I mean, slightly I, no, above not average. Slightly above. I, He's saying he, average he, above yeah, good. Yeah. When I mean average, I meant to say good. Like the, the his regular stuff. If we were ranking it on a, on a one through ten, he was definitely an eight type player. Is Which is I'm not saying. great. Yeah, the great, great. Eight is not great. Great is a ten. No. If you if, well, that, you, bring, no, if you bring home an eight out of ten on your report card to your parents, that is a B. They're going to say good job. If you bring home a nine, okay, you're right. 10 you're right. Eight, you're right. Say you're right. Great. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I just what I expect from Melo is for at least eighteen a game. He the only thing. What do you have? Actually, sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. You need a dub. But you but the dub. thing you do one thing, one thing great, and that score. So mm-hmm. do it. If he do it, if he come off the bench, I he'll get that eight too. He he just need to shoot better. That's yeah, better his percentages were terrible. Who's the next big signer? So we we hit PG PG LeBron LeBron and Demarcus. Marcus. And that was really it. We got a bunch. of Those are the big names. I'm gonna just name some off, and y'all right. stop me. Wait wait, wait wait wait. I got the notification from that from Woj saying that Mario Zoni went to. Portland, they sent uh, Mario. I thought that would be a great because he, right. he could stretch the floor. That's what they needed a wing player. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, six seconds later, yeah, six <laughs> seconds later, he went to the Nick. And I think that's mistake. better for him because there's going to be more minutes. <laughs> Kevin Durant, Recent. you left, mm-hmm. and you allow that narrative to stay on Russell Westbrook that he hard to play with. Don't do that no more. We will find your ass and talk to you, me and Russ. Anyway. No, nah, <laughs> I'm just saying. But did, you you know a recently clip I seen? What the ESPYS with Peyton Manning was like? Oh right. <laughs> Didn't you bring that up? I brought. Yeah, we oh, talked yeah. about it last I, episode. Okay, when we talked about it, I went and watched it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. Why did ESPN do that to Peyton Manning? He obviously didn't want to say. He was red. KD was mad. KD Russ looked his- heated. <laughs> he looked heated, bro. He couldn't believe he just said that, bro, because he didn't even laugh at it. He just had. That and then thing, he, had, like, did he really say, Russell, Russ, but what you think about that, Russ? Like. I think that's tough, dog. Because I think the easy thing would have been is just to kind of smile at ha ha and yeah, go play and pay. Yeah, yeah. But he stay up. It's easier on him if he just realized he, it don't let it don't even get to him no more. He, can, he, go can, on his burning, he can go on his burner account later and deal with that. But if he just show 
Like physically, it don't matter. <laughs> I just to him felt no bad more. for Peyton Man because you know he didn't want to say that. They gave him a bunch of things to say, mm. and I don't know. But Doug McDermott, three years, twenty-two million with the Pacers. Don't agree. Don't like that side. That's a that's some, that's a big that's, that's money. That's, that's money. a big contract. That's a money for a player that's been here, 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 here. Yeah, that's the money. That's and I think mom. he would have took a one-year deal in a heartbeat. Yep. Uh, Joe Harris, two years, like sixteen it. million. I like it a lot. Yeah, he earned that money. Mm-hmm. Earth signing is over. Back with the Bucks, three years, twenty-one million. What does that mean for Bari? I mean, obviously he not. But that means what we always knew. What was that? He's not returning. All right, okay. Chris Paul. Oh, this is the other big signing. Chris Paul, four years. We knew we do that. We knew he was staying. But the the the, 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 name. the money. The the length. Oh, yeah, the, see, how old he is? I think he's 30? Thir- 33? So is he 33, 34? Yeah, I think he's 33 yeah. already. They're more good because it wouldn't have been me, Chris Paul. Uh Jeremy Grant, three year, 27 million. Smart. Ed Davis, one year, four point four million with the Nets. Derrick Rose returns back to the Timberwolves on a one year two months. I'm, I'm so happy. Yeah. I don't I, as long as he got signed somewhere, I was gonna be yeah. happy for him. And I like the way he played in the playoffs. Yeah, he, so yep. he, can, he shot that, what 70% from the three? I mean, I know he ain't take a bunch of shots, but he shot 70% from three. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, okay. If you, I mean, y'all can tell from the show if you don't know. We we here in Chicago, so we know, we love Derrick. Y'all man. see that cap. Y'all see them caps. Yeah, we love Derrick um, over there. I would my okay, that'd have been bad if I accidentally <laughs> <my>. <laughs> No, I would have let you know. Um Omir Caspi with them Grizzlies. Shout out to Cuzzo. He first. wasn't in the league last year, right? He took yeah. a set. He, he played the, for the Warriors, the Warriors. He and, but Warriors. he got released right yeah, before the season. Released. And then he played somewhere else. Shout out to Cuzzo. First uh, game yesterday, Summer League. We're going to get to Summer League. But Caspi, I see you trying to give it our bandwagon. Um, Marco Bellinelli, back with the Spurs. Back with the Spurs. Mm-hmm. Two year, 12 million. Love I like it. That. I like it too. Love it. He feel like willing. They said. He, he's one of their players. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I think that team is. With a lot of going on, they low key still okay. Yeah. Rudy Gay went back, Marco Bellinelli went back. That team is still okay. They ain't got, I mean, they don't have Kawhi right now. Kawhi, they didn't have Kawhi last year, it was still a playoff team. They still okay. Oh, if just being a playoff team is what we're talking That's about. What I'm yeah, saying. okay. Like, I thought you, when you say okay, I'm thinking you mean like Spurs, they I might make some noise. The now, if they they get, haven't, not since now, 96. I'm saying like if they trade, 95, if, like if they would have traded him and got the Kuzma, Ingram, Josh Hart, they would have been decent. Could still be possible. You never know. Dejounte, no. Josh Hart, Ingram, Kuzma, Aldridge. You have Marco Bellinelli, Rudy Gay off the bench. That's a decent team. Somebody's gonna have to make a move, right? Because he, if he, if he legitimately said, "I'm not seven foot in that locker room no more," that's they got, they got to get him that's out of there. But okay, who's next? Um, Mario Hazonia, one year, six point five million with the Knicks. I love it. Didn't get opportunity as much with the Magic. I think. Um, he wanted, first of all, he wanted to be here. He had uh, multi year deals on the table, but chose ours because David Fizdale. So, shouts out to Coach Fizz making that change. And I feel like he's going to get an opportunity and he's going to take advantage. I liked when they drafted him. And I, I you Me know, I, I didn't watch no Euro League, but when they say he's the JR Smith. Smith for the Euro League, I was like, okay. Dunking and shoot threes. Okay. But we didn't get to see that at all in the first couple years of his career. So he could be another player that leave the Magic and turn out to be solid. So, that's that's it Reminds what, me a lot of Zach Levine. Um, but I like it. It's a safe. It's a safe risk because mm-hmm. if he if he turns it around, we got to steal. And if he doesn't, we just let him go. Porzingis won't be ready for it, the first half of the season, yeah, right? Okay, De- December, January. I was gonna say it's some minutes up there for him too. It's a lot of minutes. Yeah, it's yep. a lot of minutes. Uh, Shout out to Courtney. The Lee. Magic was playing him two through four, so we might steal he that. Four. He he's six eight. Go watch. He was playing some four. Um, Alfred Payton Pelicans one year. I don't. They never uh, disclosed the amount, probably because it's not all the way done. It he went home, official. which is yeah, good for home. him, I guess. Um, this could be the team that drops out of the playoffs, but they still have an elite, elite, elite player. So who knows? Uh, JJ Redick returns to the 76ers for one year, twelve million. Smart man. He's getting this bread. Two he years. just had what was that, thirty-two million, million in two years. Mm-hmm. Go get that Gotta, bag, gotta love it, bro. He just had the best year of his career. He bought into the system. He loves Philly. He loves, from what I heard on his podcast, he loves being on the East Coast. He lives in Brooklyn, but he travels to Philly for games and stuff. So he, he had another contract out there from, um, was it the Clippers? The Clippers also offered him a contract. They, They're trying to get that old thing back. Um, but he wanted. He didn't want to go back to the West yeah. Coast. He want to go back oh, to the West speaking Coast. Speaking of Clippers, because I don't have this here, Avery Bradley went back two year, twenty two million. So that backcourt of him and Patrick Beverly will be in your grill. Mm-hmm. Um, Derek Favors returns to the Jazz two year, thirty six million dollars. I guess that's fine. It's cool. Yeah, it's a, like that's like a deal where you, you don't talk about as much. That's a tough backcourt. Avery Bradley and Patrick. Beverly. Yeah, they gonna get into you. They gonna get into you. 
They also like six. If they had nine. a guy on that team that could make plays, because both of those dudes can catch yeah, and shoot too. Yeah. Um, Mike Scott, one year deal with the Clippers. I like him. He stretched mm-hmm. the floor real good. Had a good season. With Shout Washington. out to Mike Scott's homie that got him out of that trouble. Um, you watched? The I was podcast? wondering about that too. No. Oh, uh, he was on the podcast talking about what happened. A little, a little bit. Okay. Um, that's a that, that's a that hard homie. Rajon, I don't know specifics, but John Rondo, one year nine million. Right. Julius Randle, Pelicans, two year eighteen million. Mm-hmm. Seth Curry, two year five point six million with the Blazers. I thought that was a good. Sign I know you. Know. Do. I know you like that. Yeah, I was going to ask you what you thought because that's your guy. So I, he just got one more opportunity. So I, they just got. They, they want the rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just, gonna, just shoot the ball. I wonder how they're going to do the rotation. I wonder how they're going to have to see them. Defensively, I don't know how yeah, they handle yeah, that, but right. they probably gonna be they gonna probably run them three guards. If Pat like, Connaughton, say, go ahead and throw them all out there. Is, if know? Pat Connaughton is your best defending wing or your best defending guard, you probably in trouble. Damn. Yeah. I hope you don't watch this. Because the only thing about that, they ain't got <laughs> no type of size, bro. Mm-hmm. They roll them out there. Six three. Was six three is their tallest six three guard? All under two hundred. All under two hundred. Yeah. Jose Calderon returns to the Pistons one year, two million. I don't. I don't. Really care. It don't even matter. That's, that's, that's just a chuckle. Yeah, that's, that's just a chuckle. I will make money move. <laughs> Anthony Tyler or Tim Woods. Tell me, me. What did they see from Jose Calderon that they wanted to give him a contract from last year? They they seen he had one big shot. Right, he had one no, big shot. They, first of all, in the regular season, what they did. Reggie Jackson. What's the speedy guy name? Ish. 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 Galloway. They seen that statistically when Jose Carter was on the court. That he was better than George. Uh, they was better than George Hill. So he said, "We not gonna do George Hill. We gonna do us better." Hey, let's get Jose. Right. Anthony Tyler to the to them Wolves for one year five million. Great pickup. He That's the shooter. The That's the shooter. Mm-hmm. Todd, I'm sorry, you had the best year of your career, but they need shooting in that line. And lineup. they waved Cole Aldridge. So bye. Um, was Lance Stevenson. He was not. No, Lance Stevenson one one year four point five million. Javale McGee Lakers. One Can we year, hit a timeout? With Lance right. and LeBron. In Let's, the same I forgot team. to mention this that we talked about <laughs> LeBron. But there's there's pictures going around Twitter where Rondo had the shirt with the fan that had the shirt that said LeBron is a yeah. B-I-T-C-H. Yeah. Lance Stevenson did the blow in the ear of LeBron. And then LeBron has had JaVale McGee blocked on Instagram for like three years now. Yeah. They're all teammates right now. This team is like a circus. This is very reminiscent from it's when. It's going to be fun to watch though. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be very reminiscent from when Kobe got into a run out test. Yeah. Let's sign him. Matt Kobe Barnes, and Matt Barnes. Throw the ball in his face. Let's sign him. So if he give me a headache, let's, let's put him on. Shout out to Ron Artest, bro. People forget that Ron Artest actually was a pretty good scorer in his in day. Indiana? In his day, yes. Sacramento. He was averaging he like 23 20 PPG before he decided to throw hands with fans in the crowd. It was only seven games. And you know who let him go, it. right? That's some rather that stuff. You know who let him go, right? Yeah, they let him go. They let him, Elton Brand, go. They let, oh, yeah. they let J.R. Smith go. We traded J.R. Smith for he ever got a chance to Aaron a Gray and like a second round pick. And this is J.R. Flight. This is JR. Aaron Gray is the dude in PK that's always in free agent. He's still in free agent. I don't he, even know if he's, he's like free 30. He's like 30 something. He's, he's always a roster fill up for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, trading for Aaron. We've done some dumb stuff in the past. New Orleans Noel, who last year had an offer from four million four year seventy million, is now signed a two year three point five million dollar deal That with is why I, if I'm if I'm him, I'm firing my agent instantly. That's great. Because that's your agent be like, yo, um, there's gonna be way more money out there for you next year. Don't take that offer. He's like, okay, I trust the guy that I'm paying to make the right decisions. He went you said seventy million to three? Four. 74 million. No, four years, 70 million. And now he's getting 3.5 for two years. Yeah, and it's not like he's not going to get the greatest chances I like show he's worth the money. I like him on that team. That's a playoff I do team. Too, but he's not gonna, I, don't, I don't know how many minutes he's going to get behind yeah, Steven Adams. He get like 20 they don't have. They didn't have a center like, all last yeah, year. Yeah, it was exactly. Steven Adams so I like, and I like that they got him. Because mm-hmm. Nolan Noel and the right right pitcher can be all right. Yeah, I, bet the, I bet the Dallas got Mavericks. is going to find him. Oh, yeah. They're going to get the lobs. Deion, speaking of lives, DeAndre Jordan, Mavs, one year, $24 million. I like this, man. I liked it at first, but I don't really like it anymore. I Why like not? it. I mean, I know it's a one-year deal, but he don't really fit the timeline. You know what I mean? Yes, but that's why it's a one-year deal. I would have liked if they, they didn't even give it a chance to go, go try to offer a Clint who's 24, who matches You're up with him. him from the Rockets. You, you could have, if they given Chris Paul all his money, they already got James Harden. 
They they could have potentially. They went into the offseason saying that they were going to match anything for both of those guys. I mean, they were going to do anything to bring those two guys back. I, I just think, I don't know. I mean, will it be fun? For sure. To see the pick and roll with Dennis Smith Jr. And even, um, I always call him Mario Hazonia. Jesus Christ. Luca. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. But, like, next year, who what center's out there next year for them to go get? Because I doubt they want to bring him back. We're going to find out. Guess we'll find out. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins will be out there. Right. <laughs> Tyreek Evans and the Pacers, it ain't done, but it's, it's damn near done is what I'm hearing. I like it. Me too. Because, I mean, Derrick Collins was fine. Yeah, so I hope he gets some point guard playing time. I like Derrick Collins and off the ball more. I don't know if I'm the only one in the world that thinks that. He's a good off ball shooter. Right, exactly. Yeah. I think he's elevated from being a wing shooter. I, I don't know if that was in the playoffs at the end of the regular season, but he had like one big game that I'm watching. I'm like, like just let Victor Depot play playmake and just have him shoot. Mm-hmm. I think it was a and if game. if they have Tyreek Evans to be that that primary ball handler, That's everything's he, better. His they best. need to do everything That's is better. He is, he is damn near all star type can, potential can, can, player. When well, he he has like one of the best rookie, rookie seasons ever. Uh, what was on stats his rookie year as a point guard? Twenty five and five. Yeah, one of the best rookie seasons like ever in the history of this league. I mean, besides like the fifties and sixties, people coming yeah, in he had a average of James type. Yeah, and I mean, I, I was a believer. Mm-hmm. Injuries though. KCP one year twelve million with the Lakers, and that's it. Giannis two K nineteen. We knew that for weeks now though. Summer league. What y'all think of Trey Young? Hey. He struggled, but I mean, I like. I seen people on Twitter talking about he missing all these shots. <coughs> you joked around. He's like, oh yeah, he a bust. But I'm like, ain't nobody expected him to do that. <laughs> right. I had to explain like, to people. He took. I mean, he took a lot of tough shots, but he also had a lot of open shots. A that lot he of just open missed. Floaters. Well, like, he just, just missed. Them. Right. And I guarantee he takes those shots a million times a day when he's in the gym. He's got another game tonight at six o'clock our time. So we'll see yeah. what he do. Against the Spurs. I want our fans who watch this to understand when you watch the summer league, so y'all don't send us a thousand messages overreacting or overhyping these guys up. Mm-hmm. First of all, for these rookies in the summer league, it's a lose lose situation. Because if Trey Young dropped 30 plus last night, what was they going to say? It's just summer league. Then if he goes out and has no points, they're going to say he's a bust. Exactly, because he can't score in summer league. So it's a lose lose situation. Number two, this is you, you're not looking for stats, you're looking for certain type of things. Exactly. The things I took away, playmaking was off the charts. He had a play where he went up. Uh, baseline like he was going up for a layup and wrapped it and threw it to a dude in the corner for, I was like God Lee I ain't know Trey Young had that yeah. people, um, people definitely look for the wrong things he took the same shots he was taking in college that's important he played the same way that is very important a lot of guys with that type of play style would come to the NBA and be very hesitant to let it ride he let it ride he kept shooting um, and he played fast the tempo yeah. didn't seem to bother him mm-hmm. the the turnovers are expected anybody who thought he wasn't going to turn the ball over y'all didn't mind um and yeah, he still had he still found ways to score with the shot not falling. Yep. He so got, uh, got to the free throw he, line. He got Javon in foul trouble. Yes, he did a lot. Um Yeah, he took a lot of free throws. He took a lot of free throws. When I'm watching Summer League, I think I mentioned it a little bit earlier. I'm not looking at this, how many shots go in. I'm I'm looking at how they get their shots. I'm looking at if they're in the right place at the right time as far as defensively. There are a lot of things you should be looking at Summer League, and stats should not be it. Jaron Jackson Jr. just had an amazing game. He already put up 29. Yeah, he played really good. But it's not even that. He was at the right place on defense. He was at the right place on the pick and pop, on the pick and roll. That's what I'm looking at. If he finished with zero points but still did everything else the same, I'm still like, man, this guy's great. You know what I mean? So that, that's what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, because a lot of people in my mentors was talking about Jaron Jackson. I'm Trey J. I'm... It was a good game, but I'm not, like, impressed. But you know why? Because he's not going to do that in the regular season. He's not going to shoot nine threes. Like, he's not going to have a 29 game where he shoots seven threes. That I like what I saw that he showed he can make yeah, it. Yeah, he can make but it. But how many games is he going to really have a game where he's shooting seven threes? Let's just be realistic. I want to see him more in the post, which is, I guarantee yeah. you the next time they play, they're gonna he's going to have more of that because the coaching staff is going to say, listen, Good job shooting the ball, young fella. But realistically, we're gonna we gonna want to see you mix it up. Mm-hmm. But he did good jobs um, being in the right place at the right time, off the pick and pop. Uh, he got to stop sh- throwing his leg out on a three point shot. The coach said, "I'm gonna tell him to stop doing that." Yeah, he's trying to draw him yeah. one. Yeah, he drew. I think he drew one. Yeah, he did. But then he missed a wide open one by doing it unnecessarily. And he hit one trying um, to do it, and it was like, it was like, yeah, what the? Heck? What are you doing? Yeah. Look goofy. Yeah. Good defensive instincts. Mm-hmm. But my my guy, Omar Spellman. I mean, come on. Omar, Omar got in the bag. He was more athletic than I would expect from his body type. 
Yo, yeah, that. he was he was jamming. Yeah, he's more. He athletic. showed every facet of his game and more. He blocked shots. He showed some athleticism. He picked and popped with threes. He got a rebound and went one time. That's the guy that completed their draft and made them look like winners to me. So I was happy to see that. The only guy we didn't get to see was Kevin. I wanted. He yeah. has a hand injury, is what I heard. He's playing with. He it's can't play. Yeah. Gonna, I don't think he's gonna play in the summer league at all. So that's that's kind of trash because I want to see all of their prospects go at it. Uh, um, Javon had a good performance. I was I was happy to see him scoring the ball. Dude, how tall is he? Uh, he was shorter than me when I seen him. So I, don't I know. said he, I, I, he looks like six he, foot. Yeah, he looks six yeah. foot. He's but classified he real, like, six two. He look, he look yeah, real what strong. they say, I, yeah, what they say six two. But I know when I seen him, he was a look. Yeah, six two might be right. I'm six three, six four. He was right under me, so six two might be right. Okay. Um, but we know he was gonna play intense, intense yeah. five yes. defense. But the offenses was good to see the mid range shot. Um, Marvin Bagley, did y'all see Marvin Bagley? Yeah, I didn't get to watch the whole I don't game. Know, man. I didn't. I didn't either. He, see how that he posted my man. Oh, but yeah, but Mo did, got the did, last. Did, I don't know. Did, did the Lakers win? Um, I just know Mo no, they, had a great lost, game. They lost a five. Okay. Aaron Fox had a good game. Uh, Marvin Bagley. I, I saw a tweet that kind of I felt. What I mean, it said uh, congratulations to the Sacramento Kings. For beating the, the summer league the, Lakers with their, their regular uh, starting five, or something like that. Yeah, that was that was like the actual team. Yeah, 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 Fox, yeah Fox. Justin Jackson, Marvin Bagley, Harry Giles. That was like starters. For, that's the starters for them next year in the summer league. Ah, Zach Levine. Hey, <laughs> but no, Marvin Bagley did good too. He showed. Yeah. He had some plays where he caught the ball at the three point line and got to the basket. He knocked down a three. He yep. dunked on him. He yep. had block shots. He switched. I was like, okay. Whenever, whenever they could hit those threes, because it, it's just gonna make them a lot better. Because those Cause things, it's hard out. for bigs to close they out. Close out. Yeah, exactly. It's hard for bigs, and he um, could burn right past him with his athleticism. He had some little floater type. Th- I, I was like yep. that Mo, Mo Wagner. Yeah. He. Um, I mean, he he didn't do the greatest, but he held his own defense. Did he hoop in elevens? No. He did it. No. Ah. Oh. Nah, he did. That's what he did all in college. So I don't oh. know if he was gonna carry it over to the league. What did he have? Oh, it wasn't eleven though. Oh, that's a shame. Svi Makalu from Kansas had a good game with the Lakers. <laughs> he didn't do anything but score. He didn't yes. have any other stat. He had like fifteen uh, points. He no rebounds. Okay. Uh, he gonna be a steal. People don't I know. Think, I think he was Hammer were gonna be steal. He was supposed to be. A, of course you do. He's supposed well, to be a lottery well, pick. <laughs> well, what I seen from Mo when I he had a good, really good IQ. He wasn't afraid to take those shots or get dunked though. He wasn't afraid to get dunked on. Hey, he, he also was, had a block too. He did, but he wasn't he afraid to get dunked. Hey, no, but you shouldn't be afraid to get dunked. Hey, on. everybody get dunked. Exactly. On. Yeah, you shouldn't be afraid. But I'm, I feel like most but people yeah, are. Shots out his feet. He was supposed to be a um a lottery pick, but you know I, I got an inside source over at Kansas. You know they got a little system where they like to do they like to hold players back to get the most out of them as far as years go. So apparently, that was a little situation. What's his name again? Bill Seth. No, 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 no. Uh, not the Fee McKay Luke. Right, we okay. just gonna call him Fee. Yeah, I'm just gonna call him that. Okay. Cause his name is. You look at his name, you ain't gonna know what to call. Him. Yeah. That's all he do. Oh yeah, I know that. I just didn't. I've never um, known how to pronounce his name. Who else played? Grayson Allen had close to a triple oh, double. Yeah. He didn't shoot well, but he had close to a triple hey, double. He was playing point guard. Mm-hmm. That pick, he looked de- deadly in that pick and roll. And He's that hilarious. Summer league team is built just like the regular team. Cause he get tomato red when he playing basketball. <laughs> Who did like, they play against? I forgot. I saw yeah, I um, watched. Was it the it, was it the Spurs? The Spurs they played the Spurs, against Spurs, right? They played against Spurs. Derek White had like a twenty point game. I didn't yeah. even watch it. His head is shaped like Alan Crabs. Well, you can see the yeah. like you can the see side his, of his you head. See his, from the yeah, point. right. Oh yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird, bro. That's pretty much it. And I didn't even know summer league was starting this early. This is the first year of Utah, right? Nah, it's yeah. not. Utah was uh, last year. Oh, okay, I just thought it always started at uh, Vegas in July sixth. No, it's always like the Orlando. It ain't Orlando this year though. I don't know if y'all noticed. I'm covering. All 30 teams is in Vegas this year. And you covering. I'm covering. What does that mean? I really don't know yet. I just agreed to it. Why not? House of Highlights, shout out to y'all. I'm covering. Um, uh, I was Summer surprised to hit it. Yeah. I didn't know you, you was digging that shit. Because you know it's going to be like college basketball. Yeah, basically. but but now the NBA players, so I care about them. Okay. Now it's, college, now it's NBA players, so I care about them. I was trying to think, who, what's the name? I bet, you, I, I bet you I bet you I know. No, not that you know. I just want to throw out a name who's going to be in some league that I want people to watch out for. Oh, um, there's just one guy in Chicago named Wendell Carter Jr. Um, <laughs> Kevin Knox. Right. I'm trying. I'm going to find out. There's because, a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of players out there. Um, And y'all, don't don't be fooled by the numbers. Josh Sale be averaged 30 points in the summer. That's what I was going to say. It did not make a run. So that's, that's why you got to like kind of – Differentiate, because he was MVP. 
He was Summer League MVP. <laughs> but then you have players like Cal Kuzma that, that went crazy in Summer League. You have to determine whether or not you should be hyped or not about the player, based not just based on how many they average, Fans, but what they did. Y'all going to let me know who really watched this by what y'all say to me on Twitter regarding these games. If you get in my DMs or my mentions telling me about Vander Blue, and this is his <laughs> fifth year. Yes, bro. Vander Blue is there for every single I'm gonna season. I'm going to know that bro. you ain't usually a summer league watcher, okay? <laughs> so don't even embarrass yourself. Shout out to Vander Blue, though. For um, sure. This is, that's his time to shine, though, dog. Yeah, yeah. make your money. You yeah. get paid for summer league, right? He, he, Some he type go of to check. summer league. Go back overseas. Yeah, and he make a name. With 100%. Summer Thank y'all so much for listening to this episode of Through the Wire Podcast. In the description, there'll be a link to our Twitter page. We're doing a giveaway of a signed basketball. Yep. Two, also in the description, there's a link to our Patreon. Mike hinted to it earlier. Donate a dollar it a month. Takes one dollar. One. one. One dollar. Four quarters. Find it in your couch. You're going to come and get some good conversation with people like us and like you. We got a lot of people in chat already, so just come talk basketball. they want y'all to come. They tell they're on Patreon right now, like, hey, don't forget to shout they t- out They Patreon. tired of each other. They need new bodies in there. Exactly. We talking about more than basketball, too. They being there talking about relationships, music, <laughs> movies, uh, shoes. anime, shoes, anime. Um, Fortnite, all of that good shit. Um, it's just, it's just people talking. Um, <laughs> Thank y'all. Um, go Knicks. Peace.